my name's Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 3 of season 2 of Stranger Things and really quickly before I get started if you haven't seen my last reaction to episode 2 I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below if you want to check that out but I am really really excited to see where this season's gonna go I feel like it's a bit slower getting started for me than season 1 was but I'm still really excited to see what's gonna happen and everything, so let's get started. I also really wish they hadn't made Eleven's flashback so many episodes. Like, I feel like it really, really only needed to be like one majorly and then another, probably like second one showing how she's like breaking the three rules that he has and stuff like that. But man, that was a badass moment when she like steps over the wire. She's going out in the world, guys. Billy is such a dick and I hope Steve just punches him in the face. Okay, I don't trust the thing that Dustin found. Like, I don't know why after everything they went through last season, he would be like, oh, I found this alien. Let me just adopt it. <gasps> can wait, 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 did that thing like get in the trash because like there's like portals now that can transport things? There's something moving inside of it? No, thank you. <gasps> oh yeah, it doesn't like light, I forgot. <laughs> I love how Lucas is like, this is weird that you've adopted this thing. I guess in the 80s it's more believable that you would discover, oh no, it's the thing Will puked up. That is disgusting. I just can't believe no one aside from Will is like, hey, maybe this is related to everything that happened last year. I think my problem with Bob is that he just came out of nowhere and I'm supposed to like love him and I don't do well with characters like that, that like you don't really get the development all of a sudden they're just there. No, he saw the kids picking on Will. I honestly never like thought that people would be picking on Will. I don't know why I didn't think that, but like, cause it makes so much sense that like people are douchebags, but like that's what's really affecting me this season. I'm like, don't pick on my poor Will. This seems foreshadowing of something with him being like, my life is so great. Wouldn't get too comfy, Bob. So Hopper's in on this. Hopper, I kind of sometimes like to like joke around with my friends that like the prop department's like, you need me to find a Demogorgon head? I got it. You need me to find some creepy upside down vines? I got it. You need me to find a VCR? That's going to take a little bit. Wait. It's actually there? What? And she recognizes it right from his drawings? Whoa. Oh my gosh, Billy found a girlfriend with his exact hair. Wait, they're not related? I mean, it makes sense because they look nothing alike, but why is he with Max then? <laughs> Dustin has like so much emotional attachment to this thing he found 24 hours ago. In a break in. Oh, yes, Max. Whoa. Is he getting bigger? What the? No, she's not going to tell her about Barb. Jonathan's so supportive. They're already listening. Oh my gosh. Or is this like a trap to lure them out? I feel like Nancy and Jonathan are smart enough to know that they would be tracking the phone. So is it a trap? They're gonna catch her before she can get to Mike, aren't they? Hopper's gonna be like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I feel like they're gonna just miss each other. Like that's probably the door she's gonna come in. Yup, I knew it. <laughs> They're just missing each other. If only the school was smaller. <sighs> when is Dustin gonna admit though that we need to kill this thing? <laughs> wow, Mike does really not like Max. Oh no, she reminds me of Eleven. <laughs> Mike this season is just so sarcastic and emo, I love it. Really, we're gonna go with the jealous 11 route. How would she even know to be jealous? Like, he's just hanging out with another girl. He's gonna know it's 11, right? Find her, Mike. Run. Oh no, why would you let Will go off on his own? Oh, and of course he's the one that find Dart, probably because they're like connected or something, but the upside down goo. Is dark gonna be huge? Cause I am not here for that. Okay, that's a manageable size. <gasps> it 
if it catches him. That's what I'm wondering. Because, like, I don't think it's technically fully breached the barrier yet. Aren't you worried about where Will went, Dustin? You're like, oh, my little lizard's fine, but where's my actual friend? Oh my gosh, Dustin, why are you being so stupid? Oh my gosh, he's gonna get, like, eaten or possessed or something, isn't he? Well, because of Bob's advice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He still thinks they're nightmares, though, doesn't he? He has to know they're not, though. It's too realistic. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's going inside him, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gosh, Bob. This is bad. This is really, really bad. That's how the episode ends. What? Will is now like probably possessed or something, or just like the upside down is like gonna use him as a vessel to like get in to the real world or something like that. It's all because he stood his ground. See, sometimes running away from your problems is not a bad thing. That's the moral of the story here. It really annoyed me how like Dustin was just more concerned with Dart than Will. Like he didn't even realize like the walkie talkie was on the floor or that Will was missing. Like it wasn't until like Mike came in and was like, where's Will? That Dustin was like, oh yeah, there's a bigger issue that I should be worrying about. So <sighs> I'm just annoyed by that right now. But that was a really good ending. That was the first one I'll say that like actually had me like, like, I need to watch the next episode to see what happens. So anyway, if you've seen episode 3, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also enjoy running away from your problems instead of facing them and then getting sucked into a giant black creepy hole that potentially could ruin your whole town. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!